Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. You welcome devotees to our Thursday morning Bhagavatam class. This morning, the class will be given by His Holiness Chandra Mali Swami. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to you and all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Bhav, Anasuya, my obeisances to you and to all the devotees. Hare Krishna. Please accept mine, Maharaj. And today, Maharaj will be speaking on Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 8. Sorry, Chapter 4, Verse 8, speaking about the appearance of Sri Narada. I want to just make a quick um, um, sharing that by the end, before the end of the class, before class ends, we will be chanting one round together collectively. So please do not, um, if you can, a humble request is to please join us uh, towards the end of the class so that we can all chant one round together. Maharaj, it's all your time, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Can you come at five o'clock to do some work here? Okay. okay, Hare Krishna. Recencies, Om Gyan. Timiranda Sya Girajana Salakaya Chaksu Unmilikam Yena Tas my Shri Gurubhina Maha. So the verse. From Srimad Bhagavatam 1, 4, verse number 8. <clears throat> Sago dohana matram hi griheshu griha medinam avekshate mahabhagas tirta kurvams ta asramam. Translation. Now, he, Sukadeva Goswami, was accustomed to stay at the door of a householder only long enough for a cow to be milked. And he did this just to sanctify the residence. <clears throat> and Srila Prabhupada's purport. Sukadev Goswami met Emperor Pariksit and explained the text of Srimad Bhagavatam. He was not accustomed to stay at any householder's house for more than a half an hour at the time of milking the cow, and he would just take alms from the fortunate household. <clears throat> this was to sanctify the residence by his auspicious presence. Therefore, Sugadev Goswami is an ideal preacher established in the transcendental position. From his activities, those who are in the renounced order of life and dedicated to the mission of preaching the message of Godhead should learn that they have no business with householders except save and accept to enlighten them in transcendental knowledge. Such asking for alms from the householders should be for the purpose of sanctifying his home. One who is in the renounced order of life should not be allured by the glamour of the householder's worldly possession and thus become subservient to worldly men. For one who is in the renounced order of life, this is much more dangerous than drinking poison and committing suicide. Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Svangiti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Kucharine Nirvishri Sasun Yavari Pastyat Yade Sutarine Banchakalpa, Tarubischa, Kripa Sindhu, Prevacha, Patitanam, Pavane Bio, Vaishnavi Bio, Namaha Namaha. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadat Har, Sri Vasadi Gaur, Bhakta Vinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, every, uh, there are four ashrams, Brahmachari, Grihastha, Vanaprast, and Sanyas. Each of the ashrams has a particular set of standards by which the person within the ashram should follow strictly. The word ashram means cultivation of spiritual life. In other words, that's the place where you cultivate your spiritual life according to the particular ashram you are situated in. So the rules and regulations different. And here we're hearing about the uh, sannyasa ashram or the renounced out of Sukadeva Goswami is not in the sannyasa or 
but he is above the sannyas order. He is more like in the parma topmost and completely free from any worldly activities and completely dedicated to preaching the message of Krishna consciousness. So here it shows a little bit about how he, and using the example of himself, of course, and how those in, these, in the same ashram should act, um, giving up material activities, renouncing family life, renouncing material wealth, renouncing material activities, and becoming completely uh, absorbed in serving Krishna through them, through preaching the message of Krishna consciousness, one may find themselves in different material situations. And if a person is not strong, they may, I guess, again, be allured by those situations for their own personal gain or for some forms of sense gratification. It's too the sweet yet? Okay. Um, and therefore, one has to be very much aware not, not to get drawn into it. Prabhupada would say, he told one sannyasi, that if you're out and you're preaching and you're coming to some householder's house and you're seeing, oh, what a nice house he has. Oh, what a very chaste and very faithful wife he has. If I didn't take my sannyas, I could have all these things too. Prabhupada said, at that point, he, he's fallen. He's fallen from his position. Simply to desire to, this is called vantasi. Vantasi is a very strong word. It's used in the Srimad Bhagavatam in another place which means to vomit and then go back and eat the vomit. That is a vantasi. So giving up <clears throat> worldly activities is really giving up, you know, things that are contaminating the soul. The soul is by nature pure. The soul is by nature attracted to Krishna in loving devotional service. Any material desires are more like coverings. We might say they're called dirt over the soul. And therefore getting clean is the process of Krishna consciousness. And to get clean means you have to follow your ashram accordingly. So in this particular case, we see that um, although he gave his association and also his mercy to the householders, he didn't stay too long in one place. As Prabhupada writes in one verse in the one purport in the Srimad Bhagavatam in the third canto, 21st chapter, it's the 31st verse. In the purport, he says that uh, sannyasi should go from city to city, town to town, village to village, place to place, and preach Krishna consciousness. The reason why travel becomes part of the uh, principle of the ashram is not to get attached to any one place or any uh, particular relationship that may develop by staying in one place. These are the dangers that one can uh, again fall into. One can start getting comfortable in one's material position or one can get when we say develop a type of relationship with others that uh, is somewhat beyond necessary for the execution of one's service. In other words, an intimacy can start to develop again. And if that intimacy becomes too strong, then uh, one again may find themselves uh, fallen or even thinking that, you know, this, uh, this renunciation, I don't see any real value in it. So uh, one has to be very carefully according to what ashram they're in. Uh, for the householders, they also have rules and regulations which they cannot 
go beyond or let me say dispense of the householders are meant to worship the Lord in the deity form as Prabhupada writes in the uh, Srimad Bhagavatam in the seventh canto look Prahlad Maharaj's instructions he in one verse, Prahlad Maharaj mentions the nine classes of devotional service, and one of them is to worship the Lord in his archa vigra form. It's called, uh, but, um, um, what is it? Archanam. Archanam. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Padasevanam, Smartam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam. Sakyam Atmani Vedanam of the nine processes of devotional service. So Archanam is one of them. And Prabhupada writes a very strong, he said, for those in the Grihasta Ashram, uh, they're worshiping the worship of the Lord in his deity form is mandatory. And if they fail to do that, so they're falling down in Krishna consciousness is guaranteed. That's the words he uses. They're falling down in Krishna consciousness is guaranteed. So for householders, it is a feature to keep for those who are initiated to keep the form of the Lord in the homes, particularly Gornitai, and worship Gornitai according to a, a set of prescribed rules and regulations. And uh, Therefore, the home becomes a mandir because the Lord is personally present. So this is one of the main and duties of the householder is to worship the Lord in his deity form. If one is living very near a temple, then they can uh, worship the Lord and the temple as their main deity. But it's always nice because it becomes convenient. Uh, for the house to become purified by having the deity there. Um, another principle of household life is giving in charity. This is one of the, they, giving in charity is a regular feature of the service of a grihasta. As they make money, they should give something in charity to further religious principles. For the brahmacharis, their uh, austerity is to study the Vedas. They must study and read the scriptures, particular Srila Prabhupada's Bhagavatam, like that, and become what we say, submissive, humble servants of the ashram or the temple, the temple authorities, the duties that are required, and of their spiritual master. Vanaprast is not so clear in Western societies. So, but Vanaprast, their main uh, duty is to detach themselves from all householder responsibilities. And uh, at one point, they can go to a whole, the man can leave home and travel and preach. And the woman can go to a holy place and stay there and worship the deity in that holy place and not get involved with any other relationship. And that way, when she leaves the world, she serves that particular deity, becomes her istadeva, and then she purifies herself and goes back to the spiritual world. A man can eventually take sannyas and then take up that order of service. So each of the ashrams have a particular um, set of rules and regulations that must be followed in order to get the benefit like that. These are supportive, but supportive is required. But the main duty of the, the renounced order of life is to preach the message of God. And we see here in Maharaj Parikshit became the mercy recipient of Sukadeva Goswami, and he explained the whole entire Srimad Bhagavatam to him in seven days. Okay, so these are some of the principles that are being mentioned here. Uh, Lord Chaitanya 
and was very strict in his practice of household life. There are many stories in this relationship. For example, um, Jagannanda Pandit had a lot, had, had a very uh, interesting re relationship with Lord Chaitanya. Actually, Jagannanda Pandit was an incarnation of Satyabhama, Krishna's queen in Dwarka, who was an who was actually an expansion of Srimati Radharani, who appeared in Dwar in Dwarka. And therefore, he always wanted to serve Lord Chaitanya in a very, you know, direct way. So one time he purchased this very fragrant sandalwood oil. It was very fragrant. And he uh, wanted to give it to Lord Chaitanya. So he approached uh, Srub Damodar Goswami, who was taking care of Lord Chaitanya, and he said, I have gotten this very wonderful oil from Jagannath Puri, so please offer it to, to Lord Chaitanya. So Subdhamadar Goswami brought it to Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya said, what is this? For sannyasi to put this on, he, he'll walk down the street and people will say, oh, he smells so nice. And then uh, this is not the business of a sannyasi to try to make himself fragrant for the general population or even from his own self. So the Lord was very reluctant and explained to, to Sarup Dhammadar Goswami. But he knew Jagannanda Pandit was very uh, emotional and he could sometimes get very upset if something didn't go his way. So the Lord very carefully told Subdhamara Goswami that uh, you, you know, you take this oil back and give it to Jagannanda Pandit and say, this oil is meant actually for Jagannath. So tell him to bring it to Jagannath Puri and he can, he can give it to the Pujaris there to use for Lord Jagannath. So Sarup Dhabhadar Goswami took the oil and later on he met uh, Jagadananda Pandit. And he said, my dear Jagadananda Pandit, the Lord very much appreciates your gift, but he thinks this would be much better use for the service of Lord Jagannath. So here, please take this oil and give it to Lord Jagannath. Jagadananda Pandit became very angry, emotional, upset, took, took the pot of the oil and smashed it on the ground and left. <laughs> Another time when uh, Jagannanda Pandit again wanted to give Lord Chaitanya some material comfort, because for a sannyasi, they should try to avoid material comforts, at least to a certain degree. I mean, there is some benefit, just like, you know, material comforts are not real, are also a desire to enjoy this material world. So one person, Yasi should live in the very, what is the bare minimum to keep body and soul together. So this time, Jagadananda Panda came up with this very nice straw mattress that he wanted to give to Lord Chaitanya to sleep on. And so again, he gave it to you know, Sri Swami. And now he, Sri Goswami, dutifully brought it to Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya said, oh no, now he wants me to enjoy sense gratification. So, but now he realized that if he would have sent the mattress back, he would become really upset. So what he did was he told Jug, he told uh, Sruv Damodar, you take that mattress apart, and make it into a little straw mat, and I'll take that straw mat, and you can tell Jagannath Pandit, I'm happy to receive his gift. 
So that's what the Lord did. He turned it into a little straw mat that he used for sitting like that. So this was Lord Chaitanya. He would very carefully, uh, you know, avoid accepting anything very luxurious or anything. Uh, no woman could speak to Lord Chaitanya. Of course, even before he was married, even then he was very strict with his wife. But when he took the sannyas order of life, as Prabhupada said, women would have to offer their obeisances and respects from a distance. No one could go and speak with him directly. He was very, very strict in that regard. So um, Lord Chaitanya set the standard for strictness in Krishna consciousness. Of course, um, uh, Lord Chaitanya said that of course, there is one incident where this was an interesting situation. Not so interesting, it was kind of, I don't know how to describe it, a little pathetic, you might say, where Lord Chaitanya gave the, that anyone who, uh, you know, falls from the sannyasa ashram, they should give up their life. There's no, he said, there's no other recourse than suicide. There's actually a place up in the Himalayas, in the Sacred River up there, where there are people who are commissioned to stay there. And if anybody wants to give up their life in that holy river, they approach these people and they arrange for you to be put into the river like that. And you die in the holy river. So what happened was, um, one time, I won't get into any names, one sannyasi in our movement, along with a group of other sannyasis, were on a morning walk with Srila Prabhupada. This was in 1976 in Mayapur. And Prabhupada was talking about principle how strict he was in this regard. And uh, he said, yeah, better to give up your life if you fall down. Otherwise you're a Bantasi. Mm -hmm. Bantasi, we explained that meaning. So this one sannyasi, he had felt that he had broken his sannyas vows with some association with women. No one knows the nature of that association, but it's the rumor was that there was nothing really serious, except that he became too familiar with her. And so when he heard that on the morning walk, at one point he left the morning walk, he just drifted away. And that was the last time anyone saw him. And what he did was he gave up his life uh, during that same conversation, Prabhupada went on to speak more about the same principle and the devotees were pushing Prabhupada. And they were saying, well, Prabhupada, you know, if we follow that principle, then we wouldn't have any, would have any devotees left in our movement. And Prabhupada said, well, I'm not Lord Chaitanya. He said, if you, if you fall down from your ashram, then you get back up. And uh, you can enter into the Grihastha ashram and become a nice Grihastha. And uh, you can make progress in that way. So Lord Ch although Lord Chaitanya gave many standards, Prabhupada adjusted things knowing the fallen position of his Western disciples. But of course, I should just add that, that that's not a, an excuse to become loose. It's just that if there is some slip, Prabhupada said, no, better not to give up your life, but give up, give up your, the ashram and then come back and in the Grihastha ashram and again, engage in devotional service. Mm -hmm. So Prabhupada made the point that he was not as strict as 
Lord Chaitanya because he felt that, that in this age, people would not be able to come up to that standard. And that's true. We had, Prabhupada gave uh, sannyas to 53 uh, devotees and 40 of them, 40 out of 53, left at ashram. So this is a little bit of statistics. So of course, these are not excuses, but they are realities of how strong Kali Yuga is. Therefore, Prabhupada said, better not to take the order if you can't maintain it. But Prabhupada was giving it to many of his leading disciples at the time because he wanted to spread his mission. And so he, he also said he was taking a chance with some of them because he knew they weren't on the perfect platform, but he said, if they stay strict in chanting the holy names of the Lord, then they'll be able to maintain like that. So here, here's, the, uh, here's the foundation. And that applies to all ashrams. If we stay strict, even in Grihasta ashram, we can fall into material illusions, thinking, well, this is my wife, this is my home, these are my children, that's my husband, all of these things, Janasa Moham The I am I principle is the bodily conception of life. So even in the Grihasta ashram, one has to be very aware that one's possessions are given to us by Krishna to be used for his service. One's wife, one's husband, one's children are also Krishna's servant, part and parcel. Therefore, one should serve them in the best possible way and make sure that they get everything they need to practice the spiritual life and in whatever the material needs are in order to establish the, the ashram, that can be done in a simplified way, but not in such a, not a grandiose way where one spends all their time acquiring more and more possessions and calls it uh, Grihasta life. So I'm just focusing on these two ashrams, Sanyas and Grihastra, because I think these are the most relevant. And of course, we have Brahmacharya, and that's a whole other thing in terms of the rules and regulations for Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya means living under the care of the spiritual master or living in the ashram. Uh, to live outside independently and claim to be a brahmachari is not brahmachari. Prabhupada criticized that and called it bachelor daddy. He used that word bachelor daddy, neither a householder nor a brahmachari. Householder means house and wife. And uh, brahmachari means under the care of the spiritual master or under the care of the representatives of the spiritual master, which means the temple authorities like that. So uh, we need to really uh, revisit these rules and regulations of these different ashrams to ensure that our society remains strong because if we don't follow these, then the society itself will become weak. If the society becomes weak, then we are not an example others, nor can we save ourselves. Okay, so I'll stop there and see if there's any comments or questions. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Um, you've touched on so many points. It, it, it just felt that you could have gone on and on and given us more um, inspiration and wisdom from, from your words has been really, really nice. I would like to invite devotees, if there are any questions or comments, uh, reflections or realizations, please uh, do unmute yourself and share. Because it is a long list of participants, I may not see your arm, I mean, your hand raised. So just um, unmute yourself and ask your question and mute back. I think that's a question from Preksha Prabhu. Go ahead. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. 
All glories to Sri Prabhupada, all glories to Lord Sri. Thank you very much for the class. Um, you mentioned uh, Sri Prabhupada advises that if a sannyasi, sannyasi is not able to continue with that particular ashram, they can continue as grihastas. And I know that has happened in some cases, and a few cases I know of, at least one case. Um, now, since we knew this personality to be a sannyasi, and now he's no longer a sannyasi, he's still in the society, but as a grihasta, I'll just speak for myself. Sometimes it becomes, my mind plays games with me, but, but he was a sannyasi, and I don't see him as his grihasta now, but my mind reminds me that it was sannyasi. So then how do we behave towards this particular individual that has actually uh, gone from sannyasi back to um, the grihasta? Well, mm, I don't see much of a problem there. You just treat everyone accordingly. Remember these things are superficial to our real identity. Our real identity is Gopir Bhakti, Gopir Bhavid, Bhakti Kamalayar, Das Das Anudas. We are servant of the servant of the servant. Jivar Sarupai, Krishna and Nichidas. We are the servant of the Lord. We are not these bodies, we are spirit souls. So ashrama is if we see people according to their ashrama, and we're seeing basically on the external level we see people according to their their position as krishna's part and parcel spirit so so the principle is the same principle we do in any situation is to treat each devotee with respect by respecting the devotees then you're respecting krishna within the heart of that devotee also uh, we can be reminded of what their past was, but it shouldn't be something that stays in the mind. It's just something that may come and go. Right. And you. If, if you act like, like you're, what we say, what we say, uncomfortable in their situation, they may also find it unpleasant like that so yeah whatever they've done in the past well that's all gone now it's the present so we take it up from there okay thank you very much all right. yeah. Hare mm -hmm. are there other questions from devotees that would like to ask this is a very nice topic and i and many of us here are in at least one or two of those ashrams that we could definitely get questions cleared, clarified, or any other topic. But um, yes, please go ahead and ask a question, Prabhu. Thank you, Anasuya. Please accept my humble obeisances, Guru Maharaj, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to your divine lotus feet. Um, my question is actually something that I missed because uh, I think just for about 30 seconds you went offline. You were saying Srila Prabhupada would tell disciples if as a sannyasi you enter into someone's home and you see, oh, what a nice home he has, what a beautiful chaste wife he has, and at that point we just lost you. Would you please complete that? Yeah, Prabhupada said at that point you're fallen. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah, to look back and want what you had given up is a, is a, is a, is a fallen position. Are there, um, would you like to ask more to that, um, Mataji? I'm thinking of the words in the Bible also. It says that, you know, if a man even looks at another woman with, uh, you know, a desire to enjoy her in any way, it is as good as he committed adultery. The Bible says that. So, you know, it begins in the mind. Thank you. Yeah. 
and especially for those in the renounced order of life. Yeah, there is eight ways to break celibacy for those who are following the principles, and that's one of the ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's even true for brahmacharis too. Maharaj, where can... I'm sorry, Maharaj, go ahead. I'm sorry. Even, even true for Grihasta men, if they're looking at another woman in that way, they're fallen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's um, it's okay, Mother um, Marge. Mother Gita, I'll have you go with your question first. Hare you. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada. All glories to you. Thank you so much for such a wonderful class. Um, I wanted to know uh, if uh, devotees, a couple is in Vanaprastha ashram, so and if they are unable to travel to preach and unable to even live in a holy place does that mean that they are not in one procession well the thing is and this is something that is really hard to really clarify is that in our society the vana ashram still needs clarification and designation that's the basic principle um there's there are devotees who are presently trying to work out the details of what is the vana prastha because the word vana prastha means forest dweller that's what it means vana is forest and prastha means one who dwells one who dwells in the forest so it means after finishing all of one's responsibilities in prehasta life the children are grown up and there's no more uh, what we say, physical relationships with the wife or husband, then then that's the next stage. But where do we go from here? Generally, it's, as I mentioned, this has been recommended that we go to holy places like that. Sometimes the Vanaprasas, who they still stay within the, uh, the confound of, a, of an association, of the husband and wife together but that can only go on for a little while longer then gradually one has to uh, slowly move apart from that and move to the next such a stage thank you my friend yeah if the man leaves, the woman stay, can't stay in the house by herself like that. You know? She should continue her spiritual life either living in the temple or living in a holy place. Diptesh and Mansi Prabhu, please ask your question. Hare Krishna, Maharaj, please accept our humble obeisances. Uh, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you, Maharaj. Do you have Maharaj, a cow? Do you have a cow there? When I come by, you can milk the cow and I'll take some milk and then move on. <laughs> One day, Maharaj. <laughs> okay. Maharaj, uh, I have a question in specific to our society and so what is a specific duty uh, or what are the general duties and responsibilities for a grihasta within our society towards brahmacharis and sannyasis? Um, well, by serving them, by seeing if they, you can supply something that they may need. So generally, from the Vedic tradition, the sannyasi would travel and visit a householder's house, and he would give two kinds of knowledge. He would give spiritual knowledge and astrological uh, direction also. That's the actual tradition. And then uh, the, the Grihastha will supply some foodstuffs for the traveling sannyasi like that. Uh, for brahmacharis, it's practically the same thing. 
but in our society in a more organized way now, we, um, it says that the sannyasis should go from to the householders to beg and if they, if, if they need something, if they need some money for travel and the householders can provide like that. Like that and then we see many sannyasis have projects and these projects or yatras or personal projects. The grihastas can supply funds to help support these projects. Like that. Yeah, so these are these are some of the ways. But <laughs> In our society, we find that uh, it doesn't always work like that. So you have to think of ways you can serve. By giving some gifts, maybe, or some prashadam. Brahmacharis to get some direction, finding out what uh, I can learn in my practice of Krishna consciousness, to inquire from them, to hear from them. If you're coming to them to ask for some spiritual knowledge, you're actually giving them a chance to serve. So that is that is their benefit also. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Okay. Maharaj, there is a question here from Bhakta Roberto where he said, Hare Krishna, dear Maharaj, please accept Mahabal obeisances. All glory to Sri Prabhupada. All glories to all of you. Where can I find the all eight aspects of celibacy, your small servant Roberto? Yeah, in uh, Canto 6, chapter 1, verses 13 and 14, in chapter 1, Canto 6. 6, 1, 13, 14, it's two verses together. Okay. Are there other questions from other devotees? Marsh, I would like to ask a question. Um, as you were speaking about the different ashrams, you know, Brahmachari, uh, Grihastha, Vanapras, which needs, you know, a bit more, um, more <laughs> guidance and uh, sannyasi. Clarif and it, clarification. That, that's the word, clarification. Yes, Marsh, thank you. Um, there, uh, and there, uh, you know, there's rules, there's principles, there's boundaries. And sometimes for, uh, sometimes devotees, you know, like you said, for Grihastha, if we were to go to someone's house or a Vanapras or a Sanyasi and saying, oh, you know, we, you know, I wish I had this, I wish I had that, and we'd start, and that's like fall down. How can we positively embrace these principles based on our ashram? Which principles are you referring to? Um, whichever ashram that we are in rather than saying oh i wish i had that and then which we likes like for a like you was mentioned giving an example for a sannyasi you know we go to a grihastha home and we say oh i wish i had a nice wife and this and that is a fall down so how can we um embrace our boundaries within our ashram and not say i wish i wish and then it's like a fall down if i'm if I'm clear. Well, yeah, well, krihastas are allowed to have certain certain level of material possessions in order to function as a grihasta. So uh, within the boundaries of what is needed is where the principle is. 
That's why it says in the Sri Upanishad, Isavasa Midam Sarvam, Yat Kincha Jagam Tad Jagat, Tena Jap Tena, Bundi Jaha, Magridaha Kisiswadanam. That everything animate and inanimate is owned and controlled by the Supreme Lord. And one is allowed to take their dutiful quota. In other words, Krishna Allah gives each and every living entity what they need. And if you go beyond your needs, then you live outside of the, you know, the boundaries that Krishna has said is stated for easy execution of Krishna consciousness, then it becomes difficult. So therefore, what this verse is actually saying is that the principle of simplicity applies in all of the four ashrams. One should just take what they need and not more. I mean, sometimes you have a little bit more for whatever reason. That's not so much, that's not so much, a, it's not an offense, but it just makes the execution of devotional service more arduous, more difficult. So simple living, high thinking, because without simple living, it's hard to, to develop high thinking because you're too busy maintaining whatever you have and uh, maybe even struggling to increase. So, uh, yeah. So then you have to get into the rules and regulations of Grihasta life. Then you see, what is the duty of a husband to the wife? The husband should provide a place where the wife can live, where the children can live. If the husband has to provide food, clothing, and ornaments for his wife. Ornaments are also mentioned like that. And of course, the wife serves the husband by assisting him in whatever he is engaged in, so he can he can uh, not have so much trouble executing his material and spiritual duties like that. So there's a reciprocation there. So each of the persons within the grihas to follow their prescribed duties, then everything works nicely. Everyone is contributing to the benefit of the whole. But if you, uh, if I guess your question means if you want something else more, does that mean you're fallen? No, it doesn't mean you're fallen. It just means that you're going to be placing extra burden on your spiritual practice. That's all. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Uh, Sri Devi Mataji, please go ahead and ask a question. Uh, Guru Maharaj, my uh, parents and several generations, they are followers of Madhvacharya. So I've heard my father say that a sannyasi doesn't stay in any place for longer than three days and has no material possessions. So is this practical in today's day and age? Because, uh, of course, other than Chaturmasya, when sannyasis would stay in one place, but uh, with the with circumstances and the world as it is today, uh, is this practical? It's practical up to a certain point. Because we are traveling all over the world, we also need some means by way we can travel to different places. That requires finance like that. That's the main thing. But living day to day is not hard. You need some food, you need a place to lay down. We don't need any furniture. Furniture is just, you know, bothersome. We have a desk so we can do our work. We have an altar to keep our deity. We don't have any sofas, living rooms, all these things.
So keep it at a minimum, that's all. But I mean, we cannot follow this principle of only three days in every place now in view of COVID and everything. We have to stay in one place. I mean, even if one is a sannyasi, right? Yeah, right now that's the situation, but we're, that's a forced situation. It's not given to us by our ashram, it's given to us by the, you know, the civil authorities. Well, we can also still travel, but it becomes a little difficult right, right at this time. But there's another injunction, which is part of the whole ashram, is that once a sannyasi establishes something, and he can stay in one place and do his practice. In other words, the mature stage of sannyas means that he's been preaching for many years, and now every, things are going on under his authority, and uh, he can stay in one place. Prabhupada also mentions that. You have your Chaturbhasya also. And Prabhupada used that statement that I just said to follow the Chaturbhasya that for four months, Sannyasi can stay in one place during the four months of Chaturmasya. So in the mature stage, one can take what is called Kshetra Sannyas and be in one holy place like that, right? Um, Kshetra Sannyas is not mentioned for the Sannyas order. But uh, it's not just man just staying in one place. It means staying in one place and doing service to that place. It's not so that you retire. No, there's no question of retirement in Krishna consciousness. We're, we're, the idea is to serve wherever you are. Right. So Kshetra Sanyas is used in relationship with which ashram, Maharaj? Um, generally, those who are approaching the sannyas ashram usually the mature state of vana prastha. Generally, but that does you have to you know we we can't follow all the other sampradayas. We follow what Srila Prabhupada has given us because he's made some adjustments according to time, place, and candidate. So as long as we follow Srila Prabhupada, then we are in line with Krishna consciousness. Okay, thank well, you, Maharaj. Yeah, yeah, I have a whole book that it's, I want to publish it. I need somebody to publish it for me. If anybody wants to publish this book of mine, it's not my book. It's actually something I acquired. It's all the statements that Srila Prabhupada made on the sannyas order. We've had that. We have the all. We have one book. All the statements Prabhupada made on uh, on chanting the holy names. That's in one book. And so this book is an unpublished book yet, and uh, I think. Is myself and maybe one other person is the only ones that have a copy of this. Wow, that sounds great, Guru Maharaj. How many dollars would it take to publish it? Not much. It's already written. You just have to put it in book form. That's all. It needs to be laid out and then, uh, you know, made into a book. That's all. So if we have to sponsor it, we can do that? Uh, I've been... I have had that on the back burner for a long time. I've been waiting to see when I can find the opportunity to do it. But it's it's just, it's all the statements Prabhupada said about sannyas. That is sounds the, wonderful. It's all the written statements. In other words, it's everything from, from his books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's pretty it's, it's pretty thick it's pretty thick 
I would have to publish it as an anonymous because I came across it. Someone gave it to me about 20 years ago. That's how long I've had it. And, uh, you know, I've always had it. And then there's a few people who, who have asked me to publish it and I never did get to do it. So I would pu publish it under just the, you know, the words of Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. I wouldn't put my name as an author. It's not my book, it's Prabhupada's. And whoever did the work remains anonymous. I don't know who did the work. That's just amazing, Guru Maharaj. It, I think it should be made available to everyone just so that yeah. it's yeah, about sannyasa. Huh? Yeah, I have a copy of it in my library. I just, uh, if someone wants to take it and do the work, I'm more than happy. We can, you can, des I have someone who can design the layout and then would have to just go to the publishers after we design the layout and then it depends how many quanta you know to publish it you, it usually takes at least a thousand dollars or more because you can't publish small quantities nowadays no printer will do something small because it, they charge more for small than they do for big in other words if you wanted to publish a hundred copies, each copy would probably cost you about $50. But if you did, if you want to do a thousand copies, then each copy would co probably cost you about $5. That's how publishing works. The high, the more you print, the cheaper it is per copy. Yes, that is true, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, so I don't know how much of a circulation it would have, but it's something that we could give to the Congregation Development Ministry in, in Mayapur, and because they, they could probably, you know, use it and at the same time uh, promote it, you know, promote it for, for, for sales. And I wouldn't take any profit. I wouldn't want any. All the money could go back into publishing another book after that. That's all. Mars, there are two comments here from Madan Gopal Prabhu and Diptesh and Mansi saying that we can all pitch in to sponsor and great ideas. So probably one of the devotees um, can volunteer to take it from Marge's hands. <laughs> and take it to the next step because it's still sitting with Maharaj. So it's got to come out from his hands, I'm, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. um, I could design the, the front and back cover and I could give it to one of my disciples who is expert at doing these work. He could do the work. And then once it's designed, you know, then we can send it for printing. It'll be really nice if we can do that, do that that way. Because I think once it goes for printing, then we'll get a clear cost of how much it will be. And then we can start uh, fundraising and uh, sponsoring. And we all, you know, can, can pitch in and make Marge's um, dream come true, mission come true. Yeah, there's a few other people who have been asking me about it too. So that would also satisfy them. Sri Devi Mataji, probably if you would like to connect with the devotees to see if we can get it from Raj's hands and then take it and get a cost analysis or yeah. any. Yeah, the, uh, only, the only problem it's it's not in hard copy. It's, I mean, it's in it's in soft copy only. So uh, no, I'm sorry, it's in hard copy only. So uh, to do the work. You might have to get it onto a soft copy so we can work from there. And that might take a lot of work. 
Is it in handwritten form, Guru Maharaj, or it's printed off on paper? It's printed on paper. It's typed. Typing. Typing. So it would require, you know, from paper it has to come on to uh, the computer to have a soft copy, right? Yeah, somebody could go through it and type everything in there, in there but that would take, a, you know, that would take quite a lot of work and time. And where is the copy of this book, Guru Maharaj? Is it with you in Europe? Yeah, it's in Croatia. I'm sitting in I'm sitting in Slovenia now. It's in Croatia. I can get it anytime I want. <laughs> well, once I finish transcribing your diaries, would you like me to do that? That's another. <laughs> we'll talk about that after you finish. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. The thing is, I would have to initiate the whole thing. So, <laughs> so I want to see how much time I have to to actually divert to this uh, divert to this project right now. Diptesh Prabhu said that he has a contact publisher. So I think uh, something is happening here, Maharaj. Something is going to manifest. <laughs> okay. What I can do is uh, we need somebody to design the whole thing. It's just it's just rote material right now. It needs to be developed. So that means finding a back cover, front cover, um, maybe an inside cover, you know, all the things that a book is required to have. Sri Devi said that her daughter is an artist and can design the outside covers. So Maharaj, it's coming, it's fructifying. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'll, we'll move it out of the back burner towards the middle burner right now. <laughs> okay, Sri Devi, we got another project, right? <laughs> like, so this is nice. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do to initiate this. It could only happen with Anasuya as the catalyst over here, moving everything along. <laughs> I'm just a servant of the servant. I'm just trying to see if devotees can help all of us collectively help Maharaj to manifest this waiting dream of many devotees that way. And like Maharaj said, as Grihastas, you know, it would be, we all can contribute in some sh shape, form of manner to help this project, you know, and take it a little bit, that would help a little bit. Just it takes, I, I was remembering how, you know, I, uh, it takes you know, hands and legs and eyes and <laughs> a combination of everything to make it happen. So, um, Sri Devi Mataji, so whenever, uh, it takes a village, you're right. It, it takes a village to, to raise a child. It takes a village to protect a child. It takes a village for everything. I agree. So when you're done with Marge's diary, then probably this can be that the next project and we can involve everybody, Sri Devi. That'd be really nice. I will only do it if you keep smiling and continue to lead us like this. <laughs> if I can do any small service, by smiling, I will do that, Prabhu. <laughs> Thank yes, you so much. It's absolutely contagious. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's only by the mercy of Guru and Krishna. Thank you. Are there other questions or comments? And once Sri Devi Mataji is finished with Chandamali Swami's diary, and hopefully we can um, get onto this next project and involve everybody in this because it's really, really nice that we share such important information of Sri Prabhupada and his words don't get lost somewhere. That's the concern. We want well, to hold them. Everything is in one place. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, Marge. Yes. Okay, let's see if there's any... Uh, Marge, I think there's one more question. I'm sorry, Marge. And then we can go to the chanting. Um, this is from, <clears throat> from Vishaka. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Prabhupada. But I have a question. You describe the different ashrams for men and women. I'm wondering, is there an order of sannyas for women? If not, why is this so? And or what is the equivalent for Matajis? Yeah, the equivalent, as you see, ladies, they when they retire from, uh, you know, from Krihasta life, they put on the white. 
that means you know that means they're renounced but the formal taking of the vows of sannyas do not apply to women um, and there are statements in this regard in the shastra um, but renunciation is is there for everyone because it's a state of consciousness which leads to um, Krishna consciousness, complete Krishna consciousness. But the former vows are not, not recommended for ladies. Ladies can go, as we mentioned, to holy places. Okay. There are many women who are in our, my God sisters and others who live in Mayapur or Vrindavan who are in that mood. They, they're simply doing their bhajan and they're uh, serving the temple and they're, yeah, they're very renounced. They're not surrounded by any kind of family activities. Thank you, Maharaj. Um, if there are, I just don't want to end this without not giving anybody the opportunity, but if, are there any questions or comments, um, realizations, reflections before we go to the one round of chanting? Okay, if there isn't, I am going to ask uh, Vrinda to turn on um, Sri Prabhupada's japa, and if we all can grab our bead bags. Maharaj, is it okay that I can play Prabhupada's job at the background, Maharaj? Um, no, How would you like to do it? We just, uh, I'll lead the chanting. Okay, perfect, Maharaj. It becomes, yeah, the, the GBC has discussed this and said it, oh. and then we don't, we wind up not listening to our own Japa. Okay. Or we start getting into the, uh, uh, you know, a different kind of pace that, so uh, there's been a discussion on that, and I know that they, they, they highly recommend that we don't play Prabhupada's Japa when we chant. Mm. I play Prabhupada's Japa when I just, when I'm doing other things, I listen to Prabhupada chanting Japa when I'm like doing things in the kitchen or something. Mm. Thank yeah. you, Marge, for correcting me. So we, Marge, you can start. We are ready. Okay. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasari Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna <laughs> Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari Hari Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hari Hari Rama Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hari Hari Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasudhi Gaura Bhakta Vinda Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai Sri Nam Prabhu Ki Jai Gaur Premanandi Hari 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 Om Hari Prabhu Bhada Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Marj, for leading us to the, into, the, into the Japa. And we thank the devotees so much for joining us on the Bhagavatam class. It's always so nice to see Chandramali Swami once every two weeks. <laughs> it's, 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 ple- it's just so much sweetness that we get and so much love and mercy and um, guidance. And Marj, we pray that you will continue to guide us and bless us and give us your mercy so that we can fulfill Prabhupada's mission 
and to all the devotees for being part of this wonderful class. We wish you all a wonderful day. Vanchalka Putabriascha, Kripa Sunda Bevicha, Patita Nam Pavene, Vio Vaishnavi, Vio Namona Maha, Ki Jai, Shil Prabhupada, Ki Jai, His Holiness Chandramali Swami, Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Jai. Thank you.